Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the parabolas with vertex at h, k. We have learned that a parabola is a set of points on the coordinate plane that are of equal distance from a fixed point and a fixed line. The fixed point is called the focus of the parabola and the fixed line is called the directrix. Also, we have defined the general equation of a parabola as a second degree polynomial in two variables that is ax squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero or ay squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero where a, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. Moreover, we have noted these important remarks about the elements of a parabola. The vertex is the turning point of the parabola. The focus is a point that is p units away from the vertex and on the interior of the parabola. Directrix is a line that is p units away from the vertex and on the exterior of the parabola. The length of the latus rectum is equal to 4 p units. The endpoints of the latus rectum are 2 p units away from both sides of the focus depending on the opening of the parabola. And the axis of symmetry is a line that divided the parabola into two equal parts. This time, let us discuss about parabolas with vertex at h, k. The vertex h, k only means that the vertex is not at the origin. The standard form of the equation of the parabola with vertex at h, k is given by x minus h quantity squared equals 4p quantity y minus k or y minus k quantity squared equals 4p quantity x minus h where 4p is the length of the latus rectum and p is the distance of the vertex from the directrix and from the focus. Remember the importance of 4p and squared term in determining the opening of the parabola. More so, it is very important to note that the values of 4p, p, h, and k to accurately graph the parabola. For the first example, determine the opening, vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, and length and endpoints of the latus rectum of the parabola with equation x minus 2 quantity squared equals 4 quantity y plus 2. From here, since the equation is already written in standard form, it is very easy to determine the vertex and the values of 4p and p. Since we have this equation, it only follows that our h is equal to 2 and our k is equal to negative 2. Therefore, our vertex is at point 2 comma negative 2. Moreover, since the squared term is x and 4p is positive with value equal to 4, then it means that our parabola opens upward. Likewise, since 4p is 4, then the length of the latus rectum is equal to 4 units and it only implies that p is equal to 1. Therefore, the focus and the directrix are one unit away from the vertex. Since we have already determined the vertex opening and the value of p, we can easily graph and find the other elements by graphing. From the previous solution, we have seen that the vertex is at 2 comma negative 2. The opening is upward. The length of the latus rectum is 4 units and the value of p is 1. Using p equals 1 and the opening, we can locate the focus. Since the parabola opens upward and the focus is at the interior of the parabola, then the focus is above the vertex. Using p equals 1, then the focus is 1 unit above the vertex, which is the point 2, negative 1. 
the directrix is a line outside the parabola that is also one unit away from the vertex. Therefore, it is the line y equals negative 3. For the endpoints of the latus rectum, since its length is 4 units, then it follows that each endpoint is 2 units away from the focus. Moreover, since the parabola opens upward, then the latus rectum is a horizontal line that is 4 units in length. Its endpoints are 2 units to the right and to the left of the focus. Therefore, the coordinates of the endpoints of the latus rectum are 0, negative 1 and 4, negative 1. With this, we can now draw our parabola to be like this. Finally, notice that the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts is the line x equals 2. Hence, this is the axis of symmetry. This is a better illustration of the parabola with equation x minus 2 quantity squared equals 4 quantity y plus 2. Let us have another example. Determine the opening, vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, and length and endpoints of the latus rectum of the parabola with equation y squared minus 4x minus 2y plus 9 equals 0. In this problem, since the equation is given in general form, we need to rewrite the equation first in standard form. Doing that, we need to isolate the squared term and the term with the same variable on one side of the equation. Therefore, we will have y squared minus 2y equals 4x minus 9. Next thing to do is do completing the square on the left side of our equation. Thus, you will have y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 4x minus 9 plus 1. Remember that what have you added on the left side of the equation should be added on the right side as well. Next, we need to factor this trinomial. So it will become y minus 1 quantity y minus 1. Then, this side will be 4x minus 8. Express these factors as a square of a binomial. Hence, we will have y minus 1 quantity squared. And on this side, factor out the numerical coefficient of x, giving us with 4 quantity x minus 2. Finally, the standard form of the equation of this parabola is y minus 1 quantity squared equals 4 quantity x minus 2. From this equation, we can now see that h is equal to 2, k is equal to 1. Therefore, our vertex is at 2, 1. Moreover, since the squared term is y, and 4p is positive, therefore, the parabola opens to the right. Likewise, since 4p is equal to 4, then we can say that the length of the latus rectum is equal to 4 units. And p is equal to 1, where 1 is the distance of the focus and the directrix from the vertex. Let us use this information to graph our parabola. These are the things that we have concluded about our parabola based on our previous solution. The vertex of our parabola is at 2, 1. The parabola opens to the right. The length of the latus rectum is 4 units. And P is equal to 1. Using P equals 1 and the fact that the parabola opens to the right, then our focus is 1 unit to the right of the vertex, which is the point 3, 1. 
The directrix is a line that is also one unit away from the vertex and on its exterior. Hence, it is the line x equals 1. Moreover, since the length of the lattice rectum is 4 units, then the endpoints are 2 units above and below the focus, which are points 3, 3 and 3, negative 1. From here, we can now draw our parabola like this. Lastly, the axis of symmetry of the parabola is the line y equals 1 that divides the parabola into two equal parts. This is the clearer illustration of the parabola with the equation y squared minus 4x minus 2y plus 9 equals 0. Let us have our last example. Determine the opening, vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, and length and endpoints of the lattice rectum of the parabola with equation x squared plus 2x plus 8y minus 15 equals 0. Once again, since the equation is given in general form, we need to rewrite the equation in standard form. First, let us isolate the square term and the term with the same variable on the left side of the equation. So it will be x squared plus 2x equals negative 8y plus 15. Next, do completing the square on the left side of the equation. Hence, we will have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals negative 8y plus 15 plus 1. Factor the left side and simplify the right side of our equation. We will have x plus 1 times another x plus 1 equals negative 8y plus 16. Express these factors as a square of a binomial. Thus, we will have x plus 1 quantity squared and on the right side, factor out negative 8. So we will have negative 8 quantity y minus 2. Therefore, this gives us the equation in standard form. And from it, we can see that the value of h is equal to negative 1 and the value of k is equal to positive 2. Moreover, since the square term is x and 4p is a negative number, then it implies that our parabola opens downward. Since 4p is equal to 8, then it implies that the length of lattice rectum is equal to 8 units. And p is equal to 2. Therefore, the directrix and the focus are 2 units away from the vertex. Let us use this information to graph the parabola. These are the things that we have concluded about our parabola. Based on our previous solution, the vertex is at negative 1, 2. The parabola opens downward. The length of the lattice rectum is 8 units and p is equal to 2. Using the value of p and the fact that the parabola opens downward, then the focus is 2 units below the vertex, which is the point negative 1, 0. The directrix is a line that is also 2 units away from the vertex and on its exterior. Thus, it is the line y equals 4. Moreover, since the length of the lattice rectum is 8 units, then its endpoints are 4 units to the left and to the right of the focus, which are the points negative 5, 0 and 3, 0. Now, we can draw our parabola like this. Finally, the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts is the line x equals negative 1. In this illustration, you may better see the parabola with the equation x squared plus 2x plus 8y minus 15 equals 0. 
If you are better off in memorizing formula than analyzing the graph, you may take note of the following in determining the elements of the parabola. If you have a parabola in the equation x minus h quantity squared equals positive negative 4p quantity y minus k, the opening of the parabola is either upward or downward. The vertex is at h, k. The focus can be at h, k plus p or at h, k minus p. The axis of symmetry is x equals h. The directrix is either y equals k minus p or y equals k plus p. The length of the lattice rectum is 4p units. And the endpoints of the lattice rectum might be h plus minus 2p, k plus p or h plus minus 2p, k minus p. On the other hand, if your parabola is in the form y minus k quantity squared equals positive negative 4p quantity x minus h, then your parabola either opens to the right or to the left. The vertex is still at h, k. The focus is either at h plus p, k or h minus p, k. The axis of symmetry is y equals k. The directrix is either x equals h minus p or x equals h plus p. The length of the lattice rectum is also 4p units. And the endpoints of the lattice rectum are either h plus p, k plus or minus 2p or h minus p, k plus minus 2p. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about finding equations of parabolas. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.